We could be twins. Welcome to a very windy uh, land's end. I'm not sure you can hear me. I do have my wind muff attached. But yeah, we are in land's end today, which is the most westerly part of the United Kingdom. Never been here before. Really, really cool to see. It's got a few attractions as well, including a mini golf, a 4D cinema, and some other bits and pieces. I just want to say a massive thank you to Land's End for providing complimentary parking and complimentary tickets for the attractions. So yeah, Land's End today, really, really excited. It's a proper traditional English landmark, this right at the, the bottom of the country. And it's so windy and cold, but you wouldn't have it any other way, would you? <laughs> How traditional. So yeah, we'll get in, I'll show you around, we'll get some food. Um, we are out of season now, so it might not all be open. Hi, Libs. So we'll get in and we'll kind of show you what's on offer. I think the um, the attractions are open. Always wanted to come to Land's End, it's just miles away. But yeah, it's about a 15 minute drive from where we're staying in Penzance, so not too bad at all. You can tell how windy it is just by Libby's hair. <laughs> proper windy i have bought my my drone i really wanted to get some lovely footage but yeah it's going to be well too windy for the drone unfortunately yeah this is the iconic land's end they also have a sign we have a complimentary photo with the sign so yeah a massive shout out uh to the marketing team here at land's end for providing all this we really do appreciate it how iconic is that entrance land's end yeah libby you can uh, you can swim to new york if you want fancy yeah. that yeah. let's go for a little paddle you'll end up in new york really kind of unique we are literally at land's end and there's not a lot around if you just have a quick look here it's just fields we did come for a, a nice little village it is a bit chilly libs just a bit I think. <laughs> Welcome to Land's End. Oh, it's nice under here, not as windy. Yeah, this is where you can acquire Britain's first and last pasty. And I've not eaten yet, so I am on the hunt for a Cornish pasty. Toilets straight as you come in. And here we are, at Land's End. We've got the West Country Shopping Village, Sam. Visitor Centre. And these are, these are the attractions. So we've got the Lost Treasure of Lioness, the Adventure Golf. We have this Wallace and Gromit. It may be a walkthrough. Grebe Farm. And the Jolly Roger, which is a 4D experience. Where are you going? They actually do Cornish uh, lager. I might actually get a couple of bottles of that. Beautiful. It's very groovy. It's like something Dude Love would wear from the WWF. The merch is really on point. There's so uh, many cool items. This is the one we've gone for. Lands in snow globes. <laughs> like a photo opportunity there. Yeah, it's very, very nice. It's extremely windy. So you've got the crazy golf there and the, it's like the Wallace and Gromit, the grand experience. Got a helicopter. Yeah, the weather's not great today, unfortunately. I can imagine it's much more livelier in peak season in the summer. Got the Cornish air ambulance. 
Yeah, um, Cameron's asleep in the car. <laughs> He's tired. Got the experience shop. There's quite a lot to do here, actually, in Land's End. Got the Cornish pantry. That's cool. If you want to uh, pause the video and read that, you can. All about the Cornish pasty and how it begun. Just looking for something to eat. Absolutely stunning uh, views around here. Wow really nice so pretty where's the sign the iconic sign we'll come back and do the 4d and the golf shortly but it looks really really good well themed got the huge axe So I've gone for a steak pasty for breakfast. Don't judge me, it's never too early for a pasty. We're in Cornwall. Cornish law, honest to God, Cornish law, you can eat pasty for breakfast, lunch and dinner, and then supper, if you want. It's Cornish law, mate. I don't make the rules. How are you not eating a pasty? I'm disappointed. <laughs> That's like swearing in these parts. You can't say that, can you? You've gone for a cheese, cheese pasty, cheese and onion. Thank you. I love it when all the liquid oozes out. Yeah, nice crimp. Mmm. <laughs> that looks well nice. Look at that, Libby. Nice. Right, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to consume my pasty. I'll see you on the other side. Mmm. We paid for this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna eat it no matter what. Nice though. Very nice. Ard Man presents that a orange, grand experience. That orange one looks like Sky. <laughs> so I think we'll go and do the crazy goal first because it's indoors. Yeah, that pasty was really nice, just from the uh, the cafe there. Um, quite pricey, but you know, yeah, this is a, a huge awesome, tourist destination, so you're going to be paying premium prices, aren't you, for food and drink? But it was nice, very nice. Libby is struggling with the wind. So I think with the attractions, you can buy like one saver ticket. So you literally get all the attractions included or you can um, purchase individual activities. So say you just want to come in and do the golf, you can uh, pay for that separately and you just pay in there. I think a 4D first, yeah? You up for that? Right, yeah, we've got the 4D cinema at 11.30. We'll do that. The Jolly Roger 4D experience. If I had hair, it would be blown all over the place. Just waiting for Sam, then we'll go in and do the 4D cinema. At least it'll be nice and warm in there. What I'm looking forward to the most is the iconic uh, Land's End sign. So we'll get into Jolly Roger 4D and then we'll uh, do a review afterwards. You excited, Sam? But we're gonna go and do the uh, the crazy golf first. And we'll come back in in a bit. I've got to say that is probably the best 4D I've ever done. I think it's amazing. The screen quality was fantastic. We had a shower, didn't we, love? In there, yes. got absolutely soaked. That was really, really high quality. Uh, we just come out of the Jolly Roger 4D cinema and personally for me, that was probably the best 4D experience I've done. I've done a lot of those and uh, that was incredible. The screen quality first was absolutely amazing. Real high quality screen. The effects, the water effects were fantastic. The chairs moved, the lighting, you know what 4D is, but yeah, really, really high quality film that is funny. Really good, really good. 
That was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. Really good. The chairs move. Yeah, you got so wet. All themed around pirates, of course, because we are in Cornwall, uh, home of pirates. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So if you are coming to Land's End, I firmly recommend doing the Jolly Roger 4D. It's great. So yeah, the general premise of the, the short film was a pirate, he gets uh, marooned on this little desert island. Peak swim, not my problem. Yeah, he gets marooned on a desert island basically, gets picked up by some nasty pirates and they have to plan their escape. There's also a subplot with a couple of rats on there that eventually gets saved by the talking parrot. There we go. <laughs> Can I have a pint of your finest rum? Yeah, the theme in here is really good. It's like a, uh, a tavern. Yeah, it's really well themed. It's quite dark in here, so I'll try and get the best footage I can get. Hey! You've got this really cool effect as well, if you look up. Sorry. It's amazing. So you got you have to go under here. So the hole's worth points, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. Oh! <laughs> oh! Can I move it out a little bit? Hey! The flickering lights like uh, lanterns, the pirate music, the audio is incredible. This is one of the best uh, crazy golfs I've ever played. It's fantastic. Oh. What a shame, I missed Bailey's hole in one. Bailey just got a hole in one and I missed it. This is next level theming, absolutely fantastic. What a little gem. The audio alone, so immersive. <laughs> Bailey's literally just got back to back holes in one and I've missed them both. Call route. Hole in one this time. Or not. Two. I keep getting twos and threes. Look at the uh, the mister. Looks like smoke coming out of this fire. Wow. The level of detail here is amazing. Oh God, look, down there. You don't want to fall down there. Stand on it. You're not going to fall through. Got all the, uh, the weapons. This is my favorite, look at that. Oh my god. This is amazing. Got the Kraken monster. I love a bit of Kraken rum. Skulls. The TNT, who's brave enough to uh, to push it? Quick! Oh. 
So you put your golf ball in the uh, the cup, watch it roll. It's going to roll in there now, like that. No! Loser! Oh, lost! We'll probably opt for the uh, not so safe passage home. He wants to take the easy route. No one's going the safe passage. Yeah, Bailey won, but it's the taken part that counts. Back out to the wind. Uh, that golf was uh, the best themed I've ever played. It was fantastic. It was immersive. It was interactive, and it was fairly easy for, for families. Like all of us, done pretty well on that. We didn't really struggle. So it's a really nice kind of beginners course. Really, really, really enjoyed that. I think we got the the walkthrough experience to do now. And I might get another pasty. I need a drink though. Actually, I need a coffee. I do have a coffee. So yeah, we'll go and do the. Well, Wallace and Gromit experience, it's like a walk through. So quite a lot of attractions here to do. And the two we've done, the 4D cinema and the golf, have both been absolutely fantastic. Loved them both. Just imagine we're blue skies now. It'll be a lovely day out here. I've got to say I'm loving, I'm absolutely loving Land's End so far. We have our ticket now for the Wallace and Gromit. I don't know what it is. I think it is like a, an interactive kind of walk through experience, but we'll take you in. Looking forward to this. Wallace and Gromit. Cameron's scared, he's not going to come in. He thinks, it, he thinks it's some kind of horror walkthrough. It's literally not. It's Wallace and Gromit, mate. When I was a kid, these, these were amazing, the short Wallace and Gromit films. The wrong trousers with a penguin. Oh, you can scan your ticket, I think. It lets you in. There you go. Cracking cheese, Gromit. Is it? Oh, sorry, it's Sean the Sheep. Say so, yeah, but they're. Yeah, same same fit same thing it's the same creator sean the sheep and wallace and grumber exist in the same universe oh but i've got a picture of our kids how do they get a portrait of our kids on the wall oh look look out the window you've got some sheep where's the cheese oh wow this is really cool actually oh wow this is cool Got the old ball. This is cool, yeah. So this is um, another kind of experience here. It is an upcharge, but it's cool. Especially if you are into Shaun the Sheep. Definitely not Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> got to throw things at the pigs. And you've actually got a score up there. So this is uh, an interactive game. That's actually really cool. Well, they're called Fluffy Poo. You actually sling poo at the pigs. Yeah, you actually throw poo at the pigs and get a high score. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, interactive. So. How many sheep can you fit in a caravan? You can take the weight off your feet in here. What do you think? <laughs> Here's Wallace and Gromit. No, it was our place. Told you it was Wallace and Gromit. Oh, what do you think? Do you want to sit down? You wouldn't know it was our place, would you, lad? Pull the lever. What do you think? <laughs> oh, it's nice. <laughs> Well done. Oh, I traced it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, the control panel from uh, the episode where they go onto the moon looking for cheese. 
I grew up with Wallace and Gromit. Cracking cheese, Gromit. We have a problem. The e dam is stranded. It's the wrong trousers. <laughs> ah. Right, now we're gonna go and find the famous Land's End sign. I really enjoyed that Sean the Sheep experience. And Wallace and Gromit, might I add. <laughs> Cracking cheese, Gromit. It's down this way, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Or down there. Right, let's go and find this famous sign. Get a windy picture in front of it. It's been a great day though, you know, even though the weather's not great, all the attractions are indoors. Oh, here we go. Here it is, the Land's End sign. Can't wait to get a nice photo in front of this. And there it is, people just getting their photo in front of it. You can literally have a custom message on there. And here we go. <laughs> oh. Livy's disappointed because she can't see New York. Oh, I said maybe on a clear day. <laughs> yeah, I've got some binoculars. <laughs> I've not spotted it yet. <laughs> she really thought she was going to see it, didn't you, Liv? You can see the Isles of Silly when it's a clear day. Oh, wow. So yeah, they take a photo and you go and choose the best one you want. And they're all going to be bad because it's the wind. <laughs> yeah, we've, got our, we've got our photo and some of the, uh, the, the actual merch you can get is really nice. Love these. They're actually really cool. Small and large. Oh, Libby, you ruined my shot trying to punch Paddington. This is the most westernly you can get. So we just got a really nice photo. I'll, I'll put the uh, the picture on the screen, a nice family photo. We tried to look as good as we <laughs> we could with the wind blowing all our hair. All like, well, I say all our hair, all Sam's hair and Livy's hair. I haven't got any, but this is beautiful here. I just want to give a massive shout out to the staff here. They've been brilliant. Mike in there was brilliant. He gave us a really good, a good history lesson, did he? About the whole area, showed us some old photos of the place when it got bombed during yeah, the only war. Place in New York, yes, but I can't so New York. you've come and you've had a bit of a history lesson. Every day's a school day. Yeah, so the staff here have been amazing. I've really enjoyed chatting to everybody. They're really passionate about about their job, showing us some really nice photos of the place. There's a lot of history here, a lot of history. And I know it's a little bit commercialised now, Land's End, but I think it makes it interesting. A lot of people are visiting with families and kids, so the activities and the attractions they've uh, put into I'll place. Stop from just launching myself off this yeah, don't launch yourself off the cliff. It looks like a sheer drop down there. Yeah, so a lot of people do moan about the fact it's quite commercialised now down here, but I think that's a good thing, you know, because kids get bored easily these days. And with those activities, you know, it's a, it's a family day out. We've been here. 
what we got here about 11 it's now gone one so we've been here a couple of hours and we've still got quite a bit to do there's definitely a day out to be had here you've got the wildlife discovery center in here as well a list of birds you can look out for shag Stand with me. Wow, this is amazing. Some lovely views up here. You can imagine in the summer, this is absolutely gorgeous stood up here. We're chai latte. This is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I need a coffee. I'm desperate for a coffee. I'm desperate for a wee as well, but look at that. Pretty damn impressive. I've got the drone in the car, but there's a knee chance of getting that up, unfortunately.